Hey there, Herd. How's it going? Happy Final Four weekend. We've made it to the championship weekend. Brad and I are excited to talk with you about this wrap up. Uh, it's been a lot, a really fun tournament with a lot of underdogs. We've got a surprising Final Four, some really good games starting at 6.09 Eastern, and then the other one starts around 8.40. So Brad's going to talk a little bit about, you know, what this all means because there's some strategy as you go into the final rounds as, as things are getting tight about how you can make your picks strategically um, and then we also want to talk a little bit about future ram tournaments and what's coming on the horizon so brad what are you seeing well the the fun thing is is the big game is the miami yukon game for ram because that's where the big point spread is UConn, you're only getting about a point and a half versus Miami. It's uh, just slightly over five. So that's where the big swing is. What I'm interested to see is UConn is obviously the heavy favorite, but a lot of people might take Miami just to keep, hold their position because you're only going to go back a little bit if you lose a point and a half that you could have gotten. But if you gain that five, you might move up a lot. So I think a lot of the teams that are already ahead – are probably going to take Miami just so they didn't get, you know, it doesn't move them too far out of where they currently are held. And the bottom teams are incentivized also to take Miami. Now, if you're in a very, very tight spread where you're just trying to make up a point and a half, then it makes a lot of sense to take UConn. I know for me, me and Steve are only a point and a half, about a point and a half off in the rankings. And obviously I would like to beat Steve. So I have incentives working both ways for me. I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping we take opposite splits on that. But one of us will probably move up and one of us will probably move down. And then San Diego State and um, FAU, that's just a fun game, a five and a nine. But that game is a push uh, by Ram odds. It's, it's like 2.2 points versus like high 1.8s. I think there's about a 0.3 spread there. So really, it, it behooves you just to pick whichever team you really think is going to win. Um, so, and Brad, I mean, I'll add one thing there. So if you um, if you can enable my sharing, um, I'll show the audience kind of where the final round scoring sits. Let's see if um, I know how to do that. It's so it's pretty tight. Block squads in the lead. Um, but really, everybody within like the top three to five has got a chance in these last three games. So even though um, some teams might not be in the running for, you know, really being able to take the overall Rammy Award, um, it's going to be tight right at the end here uh, for the final round. So Flock Squad's in the lead. Um, we've got right after them. Uh, Flock Squad's got 30.95, Hit or Miss has 28.5, and then Lost Celeste has 28.08. Um, and the others are just, just behind them as well. So, I mean, it's it's going to be a coin toss, you know, as, as to where these games go. So it's exciting to still have th things for people to fight for at the end. Yeah, the one through three are probably locked in the top five. It would be hard for them to get moved out, but... I think we looked at it four through nine. It's all within a five point spread. So there, some of the people in the top five now are going to get moved out. Some of the people in the bottom half of that are going to get moved up. And then the top 10 also, just to make top 10, it's going to be a really, really tight spread to stay inside the top 10. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of movement. Um you know, back and forth between those positions. So it's going to come down to the actual picks as opposed to just picking points. Like, it's going to matter if you get them right or wrong. And I'm assuming that unless Miami wins, uh, the final game's not going to have a huge spread on maybe two points. But, um, you know, so that's kind of the stuff that, that people are looking at strategy-wise. Do you take the higher points and try to hold tight? Do you take them to try to move ahead in case somebody spreads out? Or do you go the opposite side and try to just chip away at it with some right picks? But I'm going to turn it back over to Steve. He has a couple announcements for where we're heading with it after uh, after this tournament. So see if you want to go through that and close it out. Sure. Um, one thing I'll just say, so we're looking at the NHL playoffs as maybe a next Ram opportunity. We haven't done um, like a major sports playoffs, and we've talked a lot about that, Brad and I have. You know how that's interesting like you 
a lot of folks don't really tune in maybe until the playoffs and this would give something for you to be invested and learn a little bit more about the sport. Um, so those start on April 17th. Um, so stay tuned on those. It'd be, you'd be picking the winner of each series because um, a lot of them are seven game series. And then it'd be kind of a slow roll between April 17th and I think June 18th. It's almost two months, kind of similar to the NBA. Um, but we're looking at NHL hockey. So um, we're excited to be in this with y'all. And it's it's been a fun tournament. So uh, stay tuned for one last video before the final game um, that we'll, we'll post tomorrow. And then we'll also do something after the tournament's all wrapped up. So keep your horns up. <laughs> we'll be seeing you soon.